on this channel so shout out to every single person who takes time out their day to support and let's upload i know we appreciate y'all we love you guys and let's get to the fucking show man let's say it again you call me a I fuck you racist you say it again why don't you I, of course i have it sorry, i have, I have it you, let way? them come you tell you tell them that you call me a n you tell them again okay you think i'm scared i'll wait she called me a n oh my god yeah and you are racist yep Keep saying, keep saying. Yep, got you on the camera, okay? You're gonna go viral, okay? <laughs> fuck you, racist. I don't give a fuck, yo. Okay, say it again. You see? She's face assaulting face. me right now. No, say it again. You, you call me a n right? Say it again. Say it again, fuck you, racist. Uh, so this next woman gets into a very heated confrontation with this crazy Karen, all because Karen felt like she owned the beach. Let's jump right into it. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Listen. I don't want to talk to you, you so I don't. So this is going to be my new spot on a regular basis. I suggest everybody does the same. So this is a public road, public asset access. If you're a, you know, Westport resident, you can park down there uh, and then walk down here to come here. I would encourage you to do that after this lady uh, screaming and yelling that this is her private property, but yet can come on this side to harass you and bother you. So I encourage everyone to like put their chairs out over here and enjoy like this beautiful at the beach. <laughs> Ma'am, you're no longer a resident here. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Sir, this lady's been barred from here. She, there's a protective order against her being here. Why is she being allowed to go to this mailbox? No, you're not allowed to report me. Yes, I am allowed to report me. No, you're not why, allowed why, to report me. Why is she allowed to go to this mailbox? Which one is she? Uh, uh, 15, I think it's 15A or B. Uh, he had a protective order against her being here. She's not supposed to be here. Is, is your, uh, your last name is Therpa, right? What? What's your last name? Therpa? No. No, it's no. Muhammad. Muhammad? Is her yeah. name on the yeah. box? Yeah. No, but there's a protective order against is her being there? here. Uh, yeah. I never got any... Uh, about my name that. is but, still on... on so, if she's no, allowed... I'm allowed no, to no, she's not allowed to be here. She's not? Okay. No, I'm going to call... I'll call the police right now. I'm going to call 911. Go ahead and pull. Uh, so this next guy was just trying to enjoy his time at this pool when he gets into a very heated confrontation with this crazy Karen and that's when things got ugly really quick so let's check out the full video you guys make sure to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications and subscribe to this channel if you like seeing crazy brand new Karen videos like this one they call me the mask Karen Slayer and you are now watching endless uploads you want to be famous today? I got enough followers. We'll get you all over it. Since I'm Mr. Nobody and I'm homeless. Hi, my name is Peaches and your ugly ass uh, streamer Arizona. whatever said that he he got a little ass head and a little ass dick. Pink dick, actually. Pink little ass dick and a pink little ass head and a pink little ass nose and a big ass motherfucking head. When like, we go over to the other side of the building, I'll show y'all which one she's in. Bitch, I'll show you where the fuck you at with your ugly ass shoes. How the fuck your shoes so little? Cause you're little. You got a little dick, little body, little head. Wait, actually, big head. Make up your mind. Bitch, why the fuck you in our pool? You're homeless. Your mom's over there watching you. What mom? Bitch, my mom's at work. You sound stupid as fuck. Why the fuck you recording me, you stupid ass bitch? I told you why. Why, you why cause me? you're homeless in why our pool? I'm homeless, you're funny. Then why are you in our pool? Your pool. Are you just is this your way you flirt with people? Why you got a little ass body? Is this way you is this how you flirt with people? Flirt. Yeah. Bitch. Uh, you look like Look at them nails thing. though. You look like you look like a whole bitch. Ain't nobody worried about you. Oh, if you think What's your TikTok? I'll tag you. Tag you? Yeah, what's your TikTok? It's peaches and cream, bitch. Peaches and cream? Oh, I got you back. What about your Instagram? Don't worry. You know you like me. Get the fuck out of my 
that's why I'm here talking to you. I'm trying to record you, girl. What happened? You don't like the camera now? Bitch, what? I love the fuck. Well, get over here. Don't be shy. Throw that Instagram on here then. Have you seen that show, Precious? What happened? What's that? Why are you getting so quiet now? Bitch, what? What you want me to say? Nothing. I don't know. I, I thought you was flirting. I, I thought you was little, flirting. Little body, little dick. What well, you still say? lingering though, like a fart. Lingering? Yeah. Bitch, I live here. What the fuck you want me to do? Oh, okay. That's okay. Uh, okay. This is a good view. It is a good view. Look at that. Ass. Mm. A little sneak peek. No sneak peek. No sneak peek. A side leg? What the fuck was that? See, see, I knew we'd kick it off. Just say you like me, and that's it. Just say you like me. I like you when you walk away and be quiet. Fair enough. Cool. Uh, so this next guy gets into a very heated confrontation with this Walmart manager, and that's when things got ugly really quick. So let's check out the full video. You guys, make sure to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. Make sure to timestamp your favorite Karen moments from this episode. Let's check it out. It's your fault it's not because not you're not concentrating on your job. You need to keep your mouth shut. You know, your supervisor. You, yeah, I don't you need no supervisor. You need to shut your motherfucking mouth. Yeah, you okay, you need to shut your motherfucking mouth. You don't talk to me like that, you know? I'm gonna respect you right now. Really? But you don't talk to me like that. Okay. You need to shut your mouth. Okay. You know, I don't say shit to you. You need to do your job before you're knocking four pallets already. No, I haven't knocked four pallets. You did. Look at this. Look at this. You don't like That's to do. Look at this. Job. You did this shit. Who did this shit? You tell me to shut my mouth for what? Look at you, what you're doing. You knocked right. four pallets already. You know, everything is recorded. That's Whatever you call me, you cuss me I for no you. reason because you're not doing your job. I'm doing my you job. You know, I do this, I've do. i been doing this for a long time because I know what kind of person you is. You don't like okay. to do this job. Have somebody else to do it. All right. But I want to have the DC look at this video That's and fine. show what kind of person you is. That's fine. You know, Catherine. That's fine. You know, because you're assistant manager. That's you think fine. you're running some. You're not running. Do your job first all right. All right. before you do anything. Okay. You know, I got everything recorded on tape. You call me to shut my mouth. You don't tell me to shut my mouth. You understand that? Yeah. Catherine? All right. Okay, uh, Catherine? All right. Okay, do your job right. Please, look. Four pallets you dropped already since you've been here. I mean, I, you know, I deal with a lot of receivers. All they right. do their business. They do their job right. right. You don't do your job. All you right. know, go find you somebody some else to do. All right. And cussing me for no reason. I didn't cuss Because I told you to do your job right before you start right. knocking shit down. All right. Keep going. I, I'm I, I got it recorded. I got it recorded. You cuss me before I cuss you. Remember, remember, it's on here. Okay, it's on here. I will. I, I promise you. I, I will take you. this to the highest level. That's fine. What, Catherine? What, what's your What's your last name? What's your last name? Don't worry about that. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay, but don't worry about it. You know. <laughs> I will. T when I go back to the DC, I will promise you. I will get that to the highest level, That's fine. and we're gonna do something about it. Because receiver like you, they don't need to be working here. That's fine. Look, look at this shit. Look at this. Look. You don't want to do your job right? You need to find you another job. Look, you got somebody else doing this job. Crazy, bro. No, I'm For not no crazy. Reason. If you want to see For crazy, no I'm deep crazy. For no reason, bro. So For like no I said, reason. I was sitting right there. For I was no right reason, like when that young lady was right For on no me. For no reason, bro. Get your it's stuff. It's called social distancing. Get your Something stuff. You need Get to your stuff. Get your stuff, bro. Cause you're sounding crazy. Get away from me. How about that? Get, get away, away from, from you. Get away from you before I call the cops on you. Call the cops. Uh, call Don't them. try to play one with me. Call them. Don't try to play one call with them. me. Call them. I'm a veteran. Call them. And? Call them. Am I supposed to get them? Call them. Don't try to play I'm, one I'm with me. I'm from ETSD, boy. I don't call care. Them. I'm from New Jersey. Call them. Boy. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from New York. What that mean? That don't mean nothing to me. All right, then. Shut up with it. I'm from the hood. Don't try to play one with me. You are not a sack of crap. Go ahead and get your shit Go to, go to Jersey City and New York. I know how it is on the go street. Go get your shit and go. Don't try to tell me what to do. You get away from me. Get your shit and go. Don't try to tell me what to do. Man, get your stuff and go. You get your stuff and get up out of here. Don't try to tell me what to do. I was here first. Man, shut up. So if you've been watching our show, you should already know by now that some of the craziest Karens and public freakouts happen at fast food restaurants. And this next clip shows you exactly why. 
Let's check it out. cheeseburgers, two orders of tacos, and one medium curly fry. This bitch gave me two curly fries and a soda. I didn't have shit about no fucking soda. This is not even a meal. I ordered from the, the Jack deal. Like, what part of it? And then she gonna have an attitude like, what part of it? Don't you understand? I waited over 30 minutes. I've been waiting 30 minutes for this fucking food is wrong. Overcharged. She charged me twenty fucking dollars. Listen. Okay. He ducked one of these fries off. Take the fry off. Take this off. Now how the one medium fry bag? Cause two of them is seven, eight, seven, eighteen. So that means that's like three sixty a piece. Take that off, and then the medium coke. So that's six dollars. So over six sixty. Bring me my shit back, bro. Stop playing with me. I didn't even order that shit. Call me over here, fucking cussing you out, bitch. And I'm waiting for my Uber, bitch. Hurry up. I'm waiting thirty motherfucking minutes. He's, look, he's stuck in motherfucking traffic right now. Yeah, but if he would have been motherfucking here, bitch, waited 30 minutes for some fucking food. Bitch, I'll get you fired. And beat your ass outside this motherfucking thing. Why you looking like that? Don't get it twisted, bitch. I'm from the hood that you in right now. Bitch, you beat the fuck up. Might be weird on. Matter of fact, I am gonna come back and beat you up. I don't like your attitude. Bitch, you got a fucked up attitude. For no reason. Uh, can I have some sauce? Can I get some ketchup and ranch? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Well, Ryan, you have to charge me. I don't care about that. Charge me. Run me back to deduct my change because that I got the, the, the those tacos was from the dollar menu. So I'm owed like three dollars. That's an epic meltdown. All because they did not have her cigarettes. So y'all know some people need that daily smoke. Miss Karen was one of those people. So let's check out the full video. You guys, make sure to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on all of these crazy situations. Appreciate you guys. This is Endless Up to Leave. Oh my gosh. White people shit. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Don't hurt me. So Karen showed up to her neighbor's front doorstep and tried to break in. Yeah, you can't make this shit up, guys. Let's check it out. Uh, so this next crazy Karen has an epic meltdown at this gas station. And I'm telling you guys, I'm telling y'all. I know I say this all the time, but I'm telling you guys. You will not believe what this Karen does, man. It's probably one of the craziest Karen videos of 2023 so far. I'm not going to lie. So 
Let's check out the full video. And once again, if you like seeing crazy stuff like this, like we do, we love seeing this type of crazy shit. If you like these type of videos too, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell for notifications so you do not miss out on the madness. Cause I'm telling y'all, 2023, it's about to get crazy. Telling you guys, 2023 is gonna be a crazy year, y'all. Uh, so this next woman gets accused of stealing while she was shopping at the mall at a totally different store. And that's when things got ugly really quick. So let's check out the full video. And you guys make sure to let us know in the comments what's your thoughts on this crazy situation right here. You are now watching the in this upload. Shouldn't you watch the camera before you came to get me? We, well, we did, but I wanted so to So did you see me steal it? So I did. You and oh, you, you did see me? Okay, let's go then. JLo, let's go. No, no, I'm just no. no I'm you not. just said you see me steal it, so let's I, go. I no, you no. said yes. I got it on camera. Let's go. Oh. I'm like I didn't see you put it back. I just want to see where you put it for us. That's all. And then you had this man fucking follow me in this store. So let's see how dumb you look. Fucking, I'm a fucking nurse. You I'm think not I'm gonna steal? No, I'm an ER nurse, okay. bitch. You just came in that store, so let's go. Fucking steal a stash jar? You dumb? Oh. Are you fucking dumb? Well, so hold on, hold on. No, it's fucking right here. Let's go. Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? Are you fucking dumb? You didn't Are you it. fucking dumb? You didn't put it back. That's all I'm you saying. You said I stole it, though. I didn't you dumbass it. bitch. Shut the fuck up. Words in my mouth. That's why you're on tape. It's all be calling corporate. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, dumbass bitch. You're mad because I didn't steal. Fucking idiot. So our next crazy Karen has an epic meltdown at Panda Express. So let's check out the full clip. You guys, make sure to let us know in the comments who do you feel like is right or wrong in this whole crazy situation. As a matter of fact, make sure to timestamp your favorite Karen moments from this episode, man. It's gonna be a great year. Appreciate you guys once again. This is Endless Uploads. I did not order in the front where customers are. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your manager. Go do your job. Go do your job. Go do no, it's not. You're harassing me. I'm talking to your manager. You don't have no clout. Your manager is right here. You're not above her. Go do your job. Get out the way. You're the problem. You and her are the problem. You're going on court. Not a fact. I'm gonna go to corporate on you too and get your ass out of here. I'm gonna get you out of here. Make me leave. Make me leave. Make me leave. You don't own nothing here. You don't own nothing in here. Go get therapy. I'm not your father, your man, or none of that. Stay in your place. Stay in your place. Stay in your place. Stay in your place. Do your job. Stay in your place and do your job. Do your job. Stay in your place. I'm talking to your manager. I'm trying to pay for my food. Go over there. Oh, you gotta ask. You don't need to be in here. Go home. You need to send her home. You need to send her home because she doesn't know how to deal with customers. Her customer service is very horrible. And this video is going to corporate too. Look at, and that's what's wrong with black women today. You're not a man. You're, you're not a man. I am. I am. You don't know how to respect men. You don't know how to respect men. How much is it again? I'm sorry. Women don't need no respect. How much is it again? How much is it? They need respect. You're not gonna get respect for the large spaghetti too. Yeah. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. I love my mother. I don't love you. I don't love you. And she don't act like you. Yeah. I love my mother. Yeah. I love my
moment his parents found out they are now U.S. citizens. After 25 years and over $15,000 spent, their dream finally came true and they now get to move to America as official residents. And make sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, guys, more Karens. Now let's check out this woman's explanation about what happened with the crazy Karen who hit her car with an object. Let's check it out. Hey guys, I don't like to be behind camera, but I feel like I've been answering a lot of questions and it's gotten overwhelming. So this is a part two slash three to the rake man. Um, <laughs> I kept saying object and I kept repeating, I hit my car <laughs> because I was in disbelief. Um, I didn't know why somebody would just do that to somebody because they're parked in front of their house. That doesn't really equate to the situation and English is not my first or second language. Yo soy brasileira y también hablo español. So, um, I forgot the word. I was in shock. Anyways, um, the police came. Two female officers, they came by, they listened to him and then they went over to me, watched the videos and um, they apologized for his behavior and they told me some people get jealous of their property lines. They told me that a million times. I don't think that was enough. And, um, and then I was wondering like, okay, well, what are you guys gonna do about it? They, they did nothing. And there was nothing I could do because the crew, I work in the neighborhood and the crew is finishing up. So I had to leave, I had work to do. So I couldn't demand anything out of the officers. I had to leave. Um, and for those people wondering like, what did you do to make this guy go crazy? I'm wondering the same thing because there I was sitting in my car, my car was off. I wasn't being loud. I wasn't making any disturbances. I wasn't doing anything that would make somebody act that way. So that's kind of a big reason why I wasn't so much shock because I, I couldn't understand it either. It was extremely strange and it was, I was, I was shaking. It was weird. It was, it was scary and weird and um, all I could do was start recording after the fact because when he started hitting my car, I was actually on a phone call. So I had to hang up. The person on the phone was like, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, there's a man hitting my car. And so I had to hang up and I had to pull out my phone and start recording. Yeah. So I don't know if that helps answer anybody's questions. I wish I had more reason for him to behave that way because it would make me believe in people a little bit better. Because now I, I'm aware that there are people that can just freak out for no reason. You could just be sitting in your car and that's gonna make somebody hit your car, yell at you, threaten you, and then police won't do anything about it. So thank you for the people who are very supportive and very nice to me. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day.